good, good morning, sir. Good to meet you again. Can you tell us, where are we? Um... <laughs> where are we? You mean physically or...? Physically, yeah, yeah. mentally. <laughs> can be anything. Um, where we are? We're in Bermondsey, in London. Um, I moved in here about uh, I don't know, four or five months ago, and um, from here I I work and I create the uh, the projects that go out to Beauport Club uh, members and uh, to clients. Uh, you, you you are you are the one person of yeah. Beauport. Yeah, yeah. I use the Royal We sometimes. So far, it's just me. I'm hoping to grow it. To, to, yeah. to involve more people, because uh, as a ballpark club grows, uh, I need more. I, I need more help. Sure. So, but for the time being, it's just me. Yeah. I remember we met last year, almost a year ago now. Yeah. Also here in you know sort of Southern. similar yeah. setting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, under London Bridge, Bridge, because sometimes yeah. you can hear the trains yeah. <laughs> rumbling. And That's stuff. right. And then uh, I, I remember you were just having a lot of creative ideas about yeah. making PCBs because, you know, can I ask you, um, what is wrong with uh, just a straight PCB line? Uh, nothing's wrong with it. <laughs> I think uh, it's been it's been done for for a few decades. If you remember, um, uh, before EDA tools came about and started enforcing. Uh, certain rules about the uh, how how tracks could be routed because they um, they couldn't handle the tools were limited by the resources that they have so uh, it made sense to have 45 degree angles it just makes sense uh, from an electrical point of view um, nothing's wrong with it but before before that there were tracks laid by hand and uh, everything everything was kind of organic looking. And I'm trying to, not to bring it back, but um, I, I found I find it very attractive, and I wanted to express myself through the engineer that I am. So yeah, nothing's wrong. Uh, I think that visually, w w the there's a lot more potential in in circuits that aren't um, aren't restricted by by. Um, Harsh angles. I have these uh, three desks. Um, I do my prototyping and and <laughs> keeping tabs on mess. I'm working on the next project. What 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 is what is the idea? Because this is a nice example I see from how you do your designs. This this looks different. This is not straight lines. This is yeah, so completely something different. What 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 is what is the idea? Um, this is a touch touch board and and a scroll wheel. Okay. Um, the manufacturer recommends having um, a um, a poor or hatched pattern. So I, I decided to use a very um, um, a hatched pattern instead of just lines. Um, use something that is within the theme of the of the circuit so this is a prototype uh, the last prototype before i i manufacture it um and this is one of you know one of the designs which goes out to the club you started your own club which is yeah. i think an excellent idea <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was actually this year so okay. uh in uh, i think in in january i uh, started uh, advertising that it's something uh, that I'm, I'm about to do and um, I was surprised by how well it was received so before shipping anything in March I had about 170 people signed up uh, which is far more than I than I expected mm -hmm. and then by now uh, last week I shipped project number six um, so the Bobo Club is a monthly subscription. So you pay for three months, you pay ahead for three months, and uh, you get um, three projects shipped to you monthly. So I uh, shipped project six, and I had about 320 members. So that's um, that's a pretty good place to be. If, if I look at your products, it's not just you know the, the, the clever electronics behind it, but it's the total experience. Yeah, experience, the it, packaging, etc. Yeah, so that that's that's always been important to me, and and, and uh, w part of 
my observation about the state of electronic kits is that um, they don't. There's no emphasis on or what's available. Is stuff coming in a little baggy, um, and I wanted to create something that is is more than that, so people have a good experience in unboxing and receiving. This is a project from a few months ago, a couple of months ago. Uh, the lady and um, you receive the the circuit board in a. Um, in a box like that with um, th this is a, a mount for once you assembled it and um, and the components are underneath uh, this uh, this flap and it, it ends up looking like this um, right wow look at that so um, again I, I it was very important to me that that people people open it up and sort of see see themselves, see the the uh, the board, and and again have have something that is is, is a bit different than getting something in a in, in, in a plain box or in a, in, in a plain bag. This is a uh, the the last project that I've sent. Um, so this car, this cardboard box, um, the the board is is here, and then you have the components. What did you do? What did, what did the so the cuddle, it's a um, it's a bare bones Arduino uh, compatible kit. So um, it just has the minimum stuff that you need on a circuit that um, uh, to to run Arduino code on it. Okay. And it also plugs into a um, to a breadboard. I'm a bit late with the stuff for uh, the next project. Uh, this one. And I'm, I'm starting to prototype um, a, uh, the, the packaging or the presentation of it. So um, I'm, I'm thinking of doing something, something like this, where there's a bit of a, a flap that opens with a, with a compartment for the components. Um, so this is what I was doing this morning, um, and um, this this came in a similar similar packaging and I included a bit of um, cardboard that you can tear off and create these these what, pegs. What, what is this, this? You call this the tap? The what? tap, yeah. yeah. So uh, it's ahead, a yeah. circuit for from uh, December 1974 that appeared in the first edition of Elector magazine in English and um, so it's, it's, it's exactly the same except a few uh, little things like uh, I've added power and ground um, header and the headers are different but otherwise the components are the same and um, it's very the original is very organic and I, and, I, and I love it and so it's a bit of a um, it's a bit of a tribute to the um, Nice. The way the way things used to be used to be done, and part of what I, I do is I try to keep um, keep as much as I can from the original and present it to a modern a, a more modern or recent or contemporary audience that might not be aware that something as fairly sophisticated um, as this uh, I I think touch today is very very common. But um, 40 years ago, uh, this circuit would have been considered, and it's still very much is clever. Uh, it's not capacitive touch. It's um, you're creating an earth, earth connection. No, yeah. you, you're 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 amplifying the um, the mains hum. So oh, yeah, the mains yeah, around yeah, us yeah, are yeah, yeah. is coupling to our body, and the signal is amplified. And uh, basically, what you pick up if you just touch uh, the probe of a scope. Yes, exactly. Okay. And um, and, and it's using that and a a very very a classic um, cross coupled NAND gates that create a latch, which is a a, a very basic uh, digital memory. Uh, uh, element, a very primitive element, so um, of a flip-flop or a latch. You're mentioning flip-flop. But it's good that you raise this point because part of what I want to do is I want to get something in people's hands where um, they see that, they see that, they see me mention a cross-coupled uh, NAND gates uh, and, uh, and a flip-flop and they go and they investigate. What is that? Yeah, you know, take, your, then, take them to a deeper level of understanding yeah. electronics. So I don't, I don't uh, provide a lot of documentation with the projects. Uh, I, I, I want 
this to be a discovery process. I think that there is a lot of um, starter kits out there uh, for, for, for the very beginners and people who, who want that um, uh, canned experience in, in a box. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going for that. I, uh, I want to push people, I want to challenge them. So um, uh, this, 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 for example, has a fairly hard to solder uh, chip on it. The, it's a QSOP. And, um, and it's the fir first surface mount board for the club. And um, it was important to me to get here because, well, there are two reasons. The first is I don't want to limit myself. If something makes sense as a surface mount board, I'd like to make it a surface mount board um, and, uh, and not limit, limit myself to through hole because uh, people um, might find it a bit difficult to solder a surface mount. Um, and secondly, I wanted people to be motivated to get and, and, and maybe let go of the fear mm -hmm. of surface mount because it's not that difficult. And uh, for that, uh, for the next project, I'm going to have available a practice board for, for, for SMD soldering and um, uh, for this particular chip. So I'm going to have available cir uh, practice circuit boards that I designed so people can order them and practice. Uh, it, before committing to to the, this board, but it's also important for people to experience not succeeding the in, in soldering. I mean that that mm -hmm. happens to me all the time. I, I solder, I mess things up, yeah. and it's it's okay, right? It's okay to to not do something right and experience that and, and become better the next time. It doesn't have to succeed, right? So it's a very, it's very much an experience uh, f for me and I, I love it. I, yeah, I really you're taking it. a completely different approach in, you know, just uh, designing electronics. I feel yeah, it's, it's, it because it, it's much more the learning and, and experience and uh, how, how to and, and with put, the, put club, the creativity angle to it. Yeah, and, and the, the, the club has, uh, for me as, as the designer, um, a very real um, constraint that, that, that every engineer has, and that's, and that's the, the bill of materials cost. Right? Yeah. So people pay a fixed amount per project. And so I, my challenge is to create a very interesting project for a bill of materials cost that is that is fixed. Anything yeah. above that, I start losing money. Yeah. Right. right. Uh, it's it's a very practical but very real real world because any any engineering project has a budget that you have to meet. Yeah. So I'm trying to. What challenges me is looking at what components can I get for for less money that have has have that could have a great impact to what I want to achieve. What exactly are the plans for the future? What can we expect and what can the members expect? Um, so, so at Boltport I do two things. I design things for clients uh, that come to me with um, that, that, that appreciate the, um, the aesthetic and the presentation of circuit boards and it fits what they're trying to, to do with their products and I designed that for them so I, I'm, uh, I'd like to continue doing that and for the Bullport Club um, I have a bunch of ideas for, for, for projects I've seen great potential in collaborating with uh, Bullport Club members which I I really hope uh, to do to do a lot in the future. There's uh, one of the next projects is something like collaborating with uh, with uh, with a member. Um, I'm I'm hoping to get uh, to increase the amount of, of members because that allows me to negotiate better with uh, suppliers, uh, reduce cost of shipping, and. Which essentially means, if, if the price, if, if the if what I'm getting is fixed, then it um, uh, it allows me to do more with what's remaining after the um, the, the 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 bill of materials costs. Sure. So, um, uh, yeah. So I, I, I I'm I'm very pleased with the with the progress so far. It's been it's been a challenge. I think the the. The cycle of uh, des research, design, prototype, 
manufacture, uh, assembly and shipping is uh, on a monthly basis is quite intense. Um, of course, it spans more for each project, but um, uh, I'm, my plan is to get, get people to help uh, with that and, 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 and run with it. If I want to become a member, where can I sign uh, up? Boltport.club so, Okay, uh, Boltport, Boltport, Boltport.club Club. Yeah. Okay, yeah. excellent. Okay. Yeah. I hope a lot of people will try it out. I hope so too. Thank you. Thank you.